Hey, what's going on everyone? My name is George and this is SaaS Master. Today we're going to check out Weblium, which is a landing page or a website builder. Now you can do either of those with Weblium. Now one of the things I love about Weblium is their templates. Why? Because the templates are already pre-built, but not only with like false text. It's already It already has information that it's also useful. So when, if you grab a template that, that already fits your niche, you just grab it, you just tweak it a bit, and you're ready to go. So it's not like other templates that you find out there that are like Laura Ipsum, and they're just kind of mixed text just to kind of fill in the spaces, not with Weblium. So the information is really good that it already has it. So this is their site. They have a free version available if you want to check it out. And they have an amazing deal going on. Check out the link in the description. So let's actually head on over to the website builder. So this is my dashboard. And what I'm going to do right now is head over to create new. And you're going to see all these templates that are available. So just let me grab one that looks pretty interesting. Mm, something modern like this right here. All right, so let's preview this. All right, let's click on that. And let's wait for it to load. All right, so it's loading. And one of the things you could see is they look pretty modern. You got some social media over here, some space. You got the menu. I'll click on the X. Menus are different from one through the other. And remember I told you about the information. Check this out. So this information, you can actually use it, kind of tweak it a bit, and you're ready to go. Everything that has the templates, they're ready to go. You just edit and start going. See all this information? So it's real information. Let's check out another one. Let's go back to templates. Um, I'm, I'm using this one, so you're going to see that in a bit. So I'm going to grab another one, something a little bit more. Mm -mm -mm. All right, this one, Tattoo Master. So let's do this one. So I'm thinking about, all right, so tattoos, what kind of information does that have, all right? So it already has like some information here. You got a background images, you have pre-built images. You can see cover up with new design, tattoos, color, rejuvenation, touch up, um, my works. So obviously you just replace those with yours, but look at all this information that it already has. See all this? It's already good information that you can actually use and you can just tweak it a bit and do it to your liking. So you got all this, this is a template. You can just load it. So you can start editing that one. But I'm not gonna do that right now. I'm actually gonna head on over to a site I'm actually working on because I wanna show you all the capabilities. So I have this one on the pro version and you're actually gonna see what you're able to do with the pro version on this one. So you, raise, you can see right here, the editor is already enabled. So if I hover over this website, I can see the editing skills right here. Now look how modern this looks. I'm gonna show you how it really looks on my site. So if you head on over to web.bmemedia.com, I'm actually pointing my domain to this right here. So I'm heading right here. Web. Did I write it? Yeah. All right. So it's going to load the site, and this is how my site actually looks. So you can see there's it's a good design. It's a modern design. It's a workable design. I haven't edited none of this already, but it's already stuff that I could use. So in this case, I'm a marketing agency, and I want to make this subdomain that I just created right now for uh, promoting websites, right? So I already got really useful information that I can use. Now you can see if I hover over things, they're playful, they move around, you got some good information. Check this out. All this I'm going to uh, replace and I'm gonna do it with my own. I also have a, a contact form that I can connect. I can either send to a straight email, I can do it with Zapier, and there's two other integrations that I'll show you in a bit. So you got all that right there, really easy and really fast. Now. How easy it is to build a site. All right, so you can go through a template or you can start from scratch. In this case, so for example, if the first thing I'm gonna start is head on over to site style. So in site, site style, it's a palette of colors that are gonna fit to your branding, right? So let's just say my palette style is something more, a little bit, you know what, right here. So a little bit more orange, red, and black. I can use this palette and it's gonna start replacing everything that I have in the site to fit this page, right? So you can change a bit. See these colors changing? If I click on this, it starts changing it a bit. Obviously the images are images, those you got to replace. But in the other sense, you can change the palette. Now you can create your own palette if you want to go straight more through what your branding looks like. Also text, if you want to do a general text right here. So it's header text, header text. And you can see the type of font that it's using. It's a combination that you can use. Also, you can do your own combination. Also, buttons, you can change them a bit. How the primary one looks and the secondary. So some of the templates have a secondary or I can add a secondary. And this is how they would look. So it's a style that already fits your site. 
So I'm gonna click X on this. That's something I recommend that you start off. And then I recommend before you even start building, is head on over to the web studio. So right here in the settings, obviously you're gonna add your general information. So you're gonna add your site title. This is what you're gonna see on the top tab on your browser. You can change it to yours. Site description, all this information is for SEO purposes. So fill it in really well. You got fav icon, so this in the corner. And you got a, an example of what it's going to look like. Website actions and visibility and search results. So you want the search engines to actually detect it or not. In this case, obviously I want the search engine to detect it unless I'm still working on it. And you got blog, you got chat. It already has pre-built chat with it. So you got live chat if you want to use that or talk to. And if not, you got custom code where you can add your own chat. You got form integrations. So like I told you before, you can just straight send an email. You can add Zapier, Telegram, or MailChimp. Social links, if you already want to have these filled in, like you go, analytics. I already connected my Google Analytics, but you have also these options available. You can connect all of them or just one. Domains, like you saw already, I'm using a custom domain. So it's heading over to web.mimimedia.com. You got custom code where you can add coding right here. So you can add to head, after body, before body, and CSS. Remember, you're looking at the pro account. So some of these free uh, things, you can't, you can't see them in the free versions on some of them. You got contrib contributors. So you can invite contributors to actually build a site. And I'm going to show you a really cool feature with this. And by the end, you got subscription. So let's head on over to the edit site. And let me show you how the actual site builder looks like. All right. So one of the things I want to do is add a whole block. All right. One of the big ones. So you got these little blue plus buttons that says add block. And I'm going to click on it because I want to show you what are the capabilities and what you can do with it. So it's like really extensive library of things that you can do. So for example, in this case, if I want to add an about, so you got all these about, you can use these. You go to features. So if what you need is features, then you got this. All right. So they're pre-built templates that you could just click on them. It will, add, it will add them and you can start adding service or products. So like I said, it's pretty neat that you have all this already. One of the neat ones I really like is, for example, pricing. So pricing, if you're building a SaaS or you're selling a product, you can add the pricing tables like that. You got projects, you got quotes, you got blog feed, career. There's many, many things that you can add right here and start customizing. The colors that you are viewing right now are due to the ones I selected in the palette. So some of them like might not look that good because they're like pink, you know, like pink and blue. Come on. But that's the palette I chose, right? But you could change that. Then you got the modules. So in these little blue ones, we can add elements right here. If I click on element right now, we saw blocks. Now we see elements. This is something I also like about it because the elements are pretty neat. So you could be like the simple ones, text, heading, button, but there's a little bit more complex ones that I like. So one of the ones I like is like before and after. And if I click on it, it'll add me this module. Before and after means that if I add an image, I can add like a black and white one and black and yeah, black and white and a color one. And it'll look really cool if I do this or maybe an old image, a comparison. I click on this little square. I click on image. And I can add my own from library or I can do it from free photos that you can grab from Webloom. So you can grab these. So I'll just grab this little motorcycle bike, apply image, right? Go X. And then I'm going to click on the left side. I'm also going to go to free photos and I'll add this car. All right. And I'll apply that one. So once that loads, I'm going to show you what it looks like. So what is after and before and after. So let's wait for it to load. I can stretch this if I want. And before it loads, I'm just going to show you this. So you can say like a before and after. You can say, hey, it's a car and now it's a motorcycle. So if you're selling motorcycles, it could be something like that. Or it's just like I told you, you can add a before and after. Like maybe this motorcycle picture, put it in black and white and do, then do this. So it's going to look really cool. Same image at the same place. It's going to look really awesome. And if I don't like it, I just get rid of it. Just click on this and delete so let's see more elements that i can add that's one. that's one of the cool ones also you got the device mock-up this one's a really neat one also so you already have a device mock-up where you can add this if you're selling apps or something like that let's delete this let's click on the elements again and you got more you got numbers icon backgrounds and i'm just going through these really quick all right check all that's available all right those are the elements that you can add 
So you got blocks, you got elements, and you can just go through and start editing, moving around. Just say SEO for power users, all right? Something like that. And you can just change it really quickly, change the text. So maybe you say 90 to 100% in page speed. So maybe you're not that confident. So let's just say 90 to 99%. You want to keep it safe. It's just things that you want to edit. I just want to show you it's really easy. And if I don't like this image that I saw, I mean, I can zoom, zoom out. I can add an information right here. So I can add image options, flip horizontal, overlay, cover. I can do a video. And if I want to click on this element, do this, you got that information. So depending on the element that you're choosing is the things that you're able to do. So right now I click on this element also, and I can edit this whole block. So it's background of this block. I got the animation for this block. So I want to enable. So what does it look like? So slide in, fade in, zoom in, see all that. And it's going to zoom from top, from right, from left. So let's just say from right. And if I say slide in, it's going to slide from the right to left. You can do slow, normal, or fast, and then you got the information. This helps you out if you want to use some custom, for example, menu style. So what does that mean? So we got hashtag about. So let's just say here on the top, I want to do services, and I don't want it to take it to another page. But if they click on services, it's going to drag all the way down here to about, if I set it that way. So that's why you would use that, that custom information. So it's pretty cool that you have all this available in an easy form. Now we have this little global icon block. So we got global settings for the, the header and the footer. So there's options for header and footer also. And it's pretty hard to go through everything in one single video, but you can get an idea of the power of William if you want to use it. After you're ready with all that, you can publish it. I won't publish it because I made some change, changes on the palette that I didn't like, and I'm not going to save that. Something I also like about Webloom is this right here. I'm going to click on that. And what this does, it loads the page so people can, so not people, your teammates can comment on it. So maybe you want to add someone that is, you're building a site for, or the teammates. So you can see right here, if I click on this one, it says right here, right? So it says change. And I could set it to a, you know what? It's done. Let's just say I logged in, I changed the image and I was done, so it was resolved. Let's go back to active, and let's just say I'm scrolling to this side, and you know what, these, I'm not keeping these because it's not actually my work, so I have to change it. So I'll click on this, and you say, hey, you know what, change to actual sites you built, and post. So someone that logs in that's from the team member is gonna see these right here, and oh, okay, so I gotta change that. And it'll change the three images. So you can click on e each image. Of this. Just change one, change the other. So you're setting notes. It's really, really cool that you can comment on this and your other teammates can actually work on it in a much easier way. Instead of using your phone, taking a picture and seeing if it, hey, you know what, change this and kind of do that. It's much easier to do it this way. So that's the editor. Also, you can do preview, you can undo, and you can publish like you saw. If you're using a custom domain, it's going to go to the domain that you select. So it can be a main domain or a, a subdomain like I'm using it. So you can see right here, I'm using web.bbmedia.com. So that is a subdomain. If you want to use a free version, then it gives you a default link. But there you go, guys. This is Webdim. I think it's a pretty good editor what i really love and i'll say it again is that the templates are already with information built into them so they just need a little bit of tweaking and they're ready to go so it saves you a ton of time plus you don't have to be thinking on what you have to put there so there you go guys this is welding if you want to grab the deal that's going on check out the link in the description thank you guys for watching my name is george and this is sasmaster i'll see you guys later